I would love to tackle a question from one of our viewers right now. Sure, that'd be great. Hi, I have a question. Can a Christian still believe on the Big Bang Theory and still be a Christian? What would you say? Okay, so I think, um, you know, believing in any fallacy is, is dangerous to our Christianity. You okay. know, we know that the Bible is God's inerrant word, but I would never say that, oh, you have to have, every one of us has to have every belief right uh, to be a Christian or to be assured of our salvation because that'd be, that yeah. would be ludicrous. Exactly, Absolutely. yeah. And so, but it's, uh, but the real question is, okay, well, why? You know, it's not, it's, um, I think it's challenging people that aren't really interested in science. Mm -hmm. uh, again, a lot of big terms thrown around to try to almost intimidate people into, there's a lot of, they call it elephant hurling, where someone's okay. like, well, you know, Big Bang's accepted as fact. Well, you yeah, know, okay, give me some reasons, you know, and then you find out, well, no, it's, you know, if anybody thinks about it, it's, again, a very weak theory. Giant statements, but no facts Nothing to back, to back them up. up with, right. So. Okay. So I think if someone is struggling with this, just step back and or just realize, you know, get into the details um, about, you know, realize it's a very, very weak theory at best. And there's a lot of fake science associated with it. And um, it shouldn't be a challenge to their faith. So the real question is, why would we consider something like the Big Bang and try to insert it within the biblical time frame when the context clearly seems to indicate that it is not possible. The order of <coughs> events mentioned in Genesis, and I'd love for you to briefly tackle that. The order yeah. of events mentioned in the Genesis account of creation is incompatible with Big Bang cosmology. Yeah, and that's, that's a really good point, too. It's not just a question of age. It's just the entire sequence of events that also tells us you can't you know, fit the Big Bang into the Bible. I think, um, you know, Proverbs, I think it's 14, 12, when it talks about there's a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. That's right. I think for a lot of Christians, they're like, well, I've got this friend, and he won't come to church with me because he's just really stuck on the Big Bang, so maybe if I, maybe if I you know, waffle a little uh -huh. bit, I can get him to come to church. Well, that seems right, but again, the Bible tells us not to do that. You know, the yeah. Bible's God's inerrant word. That was when uh, uh, people were encouraging me to uh, become a Christian. Mm -hmm. um, I would come up with all kinds of compromised positions, you know, just mm -hmm. trying to find common ground. And, and had, uh, one guy in particular, he would always say, nope, the Bible says this. And, <laughs> and I remember I was, I was almost like, I was like, come on, you know, you know I'm trying to work with you. But he wouldn't. And in hindsight, if he had said, if he'd compromised, he said, well, maybe the Bible's mistranslated or maybe this, maybe that, mm -hmm. um, I would have, um, I probably would have just walked away. I mean, I've been like, well, okay, you know, they can make the Bible say anything they want to. And so right. I would just say, don't, um, just encourage people, don't, don't compromise, don't. It's, it's not a workable compromise if anybody thinks about it. In casual conversation, they might think, well, if I just say, oh yeah, I can make the Big Bang, uh -huh. I can pretend it's compatible with the Bible, maybe I can get this guy to do a Bible study with me, they might think it's right. But if that person is really interested, they'll go a step further and they'll figure out that there's absolutely no way you could fit the Big Bang into the Bible. 